Hello everyone, this is Carl over at Legendary Leatherwork. How are y'all? Today we're going to continue on and I'm going to see if we can actually burnish some uh, some of the elephant skin with the uh, with the tooling leather. So I'm going to we went ahead we went ahead and uh, beveled all the edges. And now we're going to see if we can uh, do the same, but we're going to burnish them. All right, guys. What I've got here, and this is going to be a little awkward for you guys to see it, but I think it'll work just fine. Okay, we, uh, I've got a water burnish, so this is good. Water, water burnishing first. I went ahead and did all the other pieces so it'll be a little bit better, a little quicker on the video. All I did is got a piece, uh, a dauber of water, and we're going to rub these edges right here. Rub the edges a little bit right here, just on the part that I'm going to burnish for now. All the other stuff will be burnished at a different time. So, this is a Coca Bola slicker that a friend of mine made about uh, 12, 15 years ago. And so I've been using it at all this time. So I'm letting that soak in a little bit. Um, once it gets into the leather, a little soaks in. Then we can start burnishing. And it makes a little noise. Y'all might can hear the noise. You might not, but what it's doing is telling me that it's burnishing in really well and slicking very nicely. Sounds like the uh, leather is popping, but it's not. It's just slicking down. And that's what we want. We want to be able to slick it down, make it nice and smooth. And then we will put some burnishing ink on it. Just like this. I want to get it nice and smooth. It takes a few minutes to uh, hear the popping. That's just the leathers drying and burnishing at the same time. All right. Now then, yeah, see, we got a nice little smooth, smooth burnish. I'll get up here on the corner a little bit. Right up in this area. Remember a little earlier we sewed together and then we beveled these edges and now we're burnishing. Yeah, let's see that came out real nice right there. And when the uh, burnishing ink gets on it, it will smooth it all out even further. Okay. So let me get another one that was, as I said, water burnished all the way over, came out real nice. So we'll switch. This was actually the back portion. So what I'll do, and <laughs> this is where I said it, it's kind of weird, but um, this is the brand and I don't know if y'all can see the brand. So I'm gonna slowly turn this name. It's called Topical or Topola or something like that. Can't remember the actual name of the burnishing gel. I think it's a gel rather than a liquid. Comes out really nice. Let me lay that down right quick. Got to get a towel. <laughs> Scott towel or whatever to clean off my fingers when we're doing this little process. <clears throat> Let's see right quick. All right, guys. What I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to put this little brown edge dressing onto this area right here for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give me a little bit of this brown 
edge ink. I'm going to rub it on nice and smooth, nice and simple, just like this. I know, you're like, oh man, it feels like a cream. Yes, it makes your finger colored, but it's water, water soluble, so it'll wash off. Okay, after that's on there, try to get a nice liberal amount, but you don't want to go overboard because it will run over on your leathers inside and outside. And then you're, you let it dry. You let that dry, so I get my towel and just blow on it a little bit. It dries pretty quick. You want it to dry, and most of the burnishing ink, you should let it dry, burnish ink at it again, and then, uh, or let the ink dry, and then you burnish it, or ink it again. But I like to let it dry, burnish it, then, then put the ink on once again, burnish it, and then it will be good and solid. Colors all your edges really nice. At least that's what I think. <laughs> I will definitely get the wife or my friend to, to look at it. Okay, here comes the fun part. Now, move all the little tools out or the, the ink out of the way. Okay, because I'm right-handed, I'm doing the back side. Still does the same thing. All right, here we go, guys. Never had a squeak like that before. Oh, I see. That's because everything's on the... There we go. Nice and easy. Oop. Sorry about that. Back button. Okay, let's see here. Try to burnish this right along. And all of your pieces will do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing after we... We'll do the uh, do the other piece. We'll do the little flap that goes over the front of the the leather or over the the top of the holster. We'll do the back two back two pieces. All that'll be edge burnished twice to make sure you get a good coverage. Man, that's smooth. Feels really good. Yeah, that feels real nice right there. So what I'll do is I'll get a little bit more of the ink. You don't have to put a lot. This stuff travels a long way. A little bit more of the ink on my finger. See, it's just a little bit. And we'll re-rub. You always want to do it twice just to cover up now you guys can see it, but I have to rely on what I'm doing here to try to create that same process you guys do, maybe with one coat. But it's always good to have two coats on it, just in case. The deeper in you burnish it, the more it's going to stay and the pretty, you know, the longer it'll stay nice. So once again, okay, move my uh, cap up again. I'll get my towel. And I'll just lightly blow it. And normally I use a piece of cardboard. Gives a, a force of, uh, kind of a wind force. But in this case, I'm just using a paper towel. Doesn't really matter. It's, it's still getting a good, even flow of air to dry the ink and the second coat you don't actually have to have it a hundred percent dry 
You can let it stay a little tacky. And it's supposed to really burnish in strongly. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Yeah, the elephant's squeaking. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, this burn should become really good. In a minute, I will start to burnish the other piece, the front section, because it gave enough time to the water to soak in and the burnishing to do real well. Then I can put on top of it the burnishing ink. And it should come out just fine. Nice and smooth. And of course, it will dry really strong. It's nice and smooth. Feels like glass. Good and all the edges. So when you see it, that's basically what you're looking at right there. Nice and pretty. That looks good. All right, now we can get this other one. Okay, it was water burnished. Now we can we can put the burnishing ink on it once again. All right, here we go. Don't have to put a lot, guys, just a little bit. All you're wanting to do is get the, get the surface covered. Just about like that. Excuse me. Pardon me. All right. A little bit of drying here. A little bit of airflow. Get this nice and dry. I even have a, a blow dryer that can dry this pretty quick, but I don't think there's a need in such a small area. I always didn't really care for burnishing, but the, pro the product, the item, the leather works really good with the burnishing inks and it makes your project look so nice. A lot of leather work is really the maintenance portion of this project is getting all the pieces set up for the final the final look and this is one of those steps that you have to take to make it look perfect you know you can rush through a project by not burnishing the edges by not sewing it in or lacing with decent decent item products the bottom line is it's going to make your leathers look as good as you want them to look. If you want them to look professional, beautiful, inviting, I guess you could say, to something that you would want to have, want to keep, these little steps go a long way. If you just want a quick fix on something, well, you know how to quick fix. We all do. <laughs> but if you don't take the steps to make something as quality as you would like it to be, I don't like burn, uh, uh, beveling the edges. They need to make a tool. Somebody needs to make a tool where you can put it on any piece of leather, 
pull towards you and it's highly burning or highly beveled. But nobody's been able to do that yet. When they do, that little tool will be a very popular item to have. A little bit more right up in there. Put this last little bit of burnish on there, burnishing ink, and then we'll go to the next steps later down the line on the next video. <laughs> Have to say the uh, second video I did on the holster has just reached over 2,000 views. Thank you guys. Uh, so greatly appreciate the views they're well appreciated and because of you guys that video is flying and this one <clears throat> the one before this so far I've had a little over 430 views thereabouts that's awesome. Never thought we'd get that far, but we are. And that's a blessing. Thank you all again. Had a gentleman last night comment to me and he said, I can't wait, wait to see the next video. And I told him it's on its way. <laughs> Little bit of airflow, little bit of airflow. Gives that burnishing ink just a little bit enough to dry and get a little tacky. And we'll move on to this little bit of burnish right here. Guys, I know some of my videos are a little lengthy, but that's okay. You guys like to watch a little bit of, little bit of stuff, and I appreciate y'all watching the videos that I'm putting up. Whether they short, whether they are short or long, it's, it's awesome. You guys are watching them, hopefully comprehending what I'm doing giving y'all an opportunity to maybe follow and see if y'all can do the same thing. Of course, you've got, hopefully I've got a few leather experience, experienced leather crafters watching and they're shaking their head like, okay, he's doing that right. And please, if I'm not, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> that can only help me get even better than I am now. Kind of need to watch this go from a natural to a smooth dark brown. Okay. Looks like that one's all done as well. Nice and smooth and slicked up. All the back and the front. See my little finger, it's brown, but I can wash that off and it'll come right off. Really cool. Okay, let me lay you down, get you to the spot. Okay, guys, I think that's about right. Uh, okay, we have the front piece, front piece smoothed out really nice. The back, the back piece smoothed out really nice. It's going to be beautiful. That edge dressing is really awesome. It does chromium tanned as well as veg tanned perfectly. 
Okay, guys, here's what we need. Got these. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the uh, edging on the elephant skin. Uh, the next video, I think we're going to put on the back strap pieces for the belt. We'll go ahead and sew those in. But uh, once again, I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you like the videos, please uh, comment. And uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're not, please subscribe just to say hello. And uh, the more subscribers, the better off it goes. And if you like the uh, videos, we greatly appreciate it. Please ring the bell for notifications. Uh, if you like and share, the more likes and shares, more people can see the videos down the line. Uh, if you'd like, please go to Legendary Leatherwork and come see the uh, come see the items on the website. Uh, if you'd like to get a hold of me, it's Carl K A R L at LegendaryLeatherwork.com. Or give me a phone call, area code 817-903-5415. Guys, I'm going to head out for now. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.